Okay, Akomodo Crypto here with another Bitcoin update. Yeah, today's Sunday. Usually I don't record on Sundays, but today is a special day. We have a lot of things happening, so I need to give you guys an update on Bitcoin. So, whatever, right? And f that's it. Um, let's see here. We are on September 2, the s September the 2nd. 253 days this is 31 percent right well, i like to keep you guys update this relationship is so important if you haven't watched my videos talking about the time relationship between impulse and correction please guys uh i will try to to put the link in the description but i, I don't know if i'm gonna remember that <laughs> so if i don't uh because i don't remember exactly which one was the video because I talk a lot about time, so it, I think it was three, two, three weeks, uh, three days ago, no, one week ago, perhaps. Okay, sorry. Um, so let's, what's, what's happening? Bitcoin has, has uh, as I said yesterday, has reached this, has challenged the 100 EMA here, and we closed the candle above it, and we are now with this, spinning top but <laughs> what's gonna happen right we have crossed the 55 the 50 percent uh, uh the 50 percent of retracement from this whole wave here that i'm calling a okay and uh, we have crossed it perhaps we are gonna go as high as the 618 on bit phoenix though we have a huger we uh, a huger Week, right i think a bit phoenix tried to challenge the 200 ma tried but it it couldn't okay but yes it's on the table that we might have one more leg up okay this this is the daily chart telling us okay we have uh, for, for uh, we, we don't have an increase in uh, in volume as well here so okay so it remains to be seen. We might as well go. We might as well start dropping now and finish this. This uh, B would be here, and we would go down. B would be in an in the, in the sweet spots for a wave B, and we would go down to complete wave C. Okay, as we have it here. This is my whole count. Okay, we would finish wave B, and we would go down to put in wave C and wave Z. Okay. Remains to be seen again. Um, this is my... Okay, no. This is the... What is the weekly chart? Oh, here. As I said, the weekly chart, we would challenge the 55 EMA. We challenge it and we are above it. Okay? I said that it, it was an awesome confluence in the past days. That it would uh, likely cross this. This is why I have this green line here. And we would likely cross it, and we would close above it, and we 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 haven't yet closed it above it, but it's likely that we might go to the 21 EMA as well. So, I think actually, is this Bit Phoenix? No, Bit Phoenix. We have reached the 21 EMA, but we had the rejection, right? Reject. Let, 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 let's see here. Let's see. Allow me. Allow me a moment, guys. Because this is the weekly chart, it's, it's showing us exactly what I said, right? This is the B wave, okay? This is the B wave, where this is GDAX. Okay, let me see B Phoenix. Well, this is weekly chart. Oh, Harry, <laughs> here we have my. Uh, this is, let me see my one hour chart. Yes, has this huge week, see? Yeah, this is, it's difficult to. Um, you see, how, this is a. a on the one hour chart we have all the bitcoins above all the the emas okay the 21 is now acting as a support okay we had this huge week okay but, but this is on phoenix it's not on bitstamp so yeah it's difficult i need to we need to take into consideration of course uh, Bit Phoenix is a really strong and it's a huge um, 
it's a huge exchange so we can't disregard this week but this is my weekly chart for bitstamp okay i'm using bitstamp this is it is a, the, 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 uh, as far as i am concerned as far as i i know this is a really stable um exchange so that's why i use bitstamp and it has um more data it has a more historical data than the others so that's it okay uh this is my hour chart okay this is not bitfinex this is bitstamp so we haven't reached this uh three seven hundred 7300 or this uh, 618 here if you consider that bits bit Phoenix has put in the wave 5 we would go down what I am considering here is that we haven't yet put wave 5 we are yet to put it okay the 7500 perhaps okay and then we would have this target here in red 7300 we have uh, we have hit it okay and then we we are now um <clears throat> we tracing okay and this is nice because it's a higher it's a new high okay it's above the, this wave three that i'm proposing so it's okay it qualifies to be a wave one okay and then we would have now wave two you see that i am uh, retracing it here and it has retraced to the 61865 percent Okay, if we label it one, this is, would be zero, one, two, then we would have a tree touching the this this yet yeah, this blue line here, the seven eight six. Okay, uh, let me mark it here because because uh, one problem though is it, it's that is that it's gonna have to be difficult to really uh, and break it perhaps. Okay, let me. Let's mean uh, this is micro indeed. Okay, then we would have the end of this fifth wave. Okay, we would have this last push upwards. Okay, last impulse. Is it possible? Yes, it is. Okay, we would have this as a one. This is a two. Okay, you see here again touching this fifth percent fib channel this 50 percent channel acting as a strong really amazing um as an amazing resistance or support it's it's it has contained the whole movement so it's when we see that the the when you see that bitcoin is touching it we see a reaction and it has touched it okay which is by the way the 50 percent of the whole movement as well so we have a confluence here so Bitcoin is touching it here, and if we are to see this wave three, I per, I I feel I imagine that it would touch this seven eight six. I don't know if you guys can see it. Let me sh change this color because this blue here is such a uh, yes. I, I think green is better. Um, you see this this line here, the seven eight six is really important. Okay, it all the time. Then when we try to touch it, trying to touch it, we have a uh, it it pulls back okay so this is what i think is gonna happen perhaps if we haven't if we are to break this resistance really important resistance and we have this this is another target if we are if we break this we would have this target two that perhaps i'm gonna put it a bit higher like this okay target one is done target one is has been hit okay then we would have this fifth wave but if we start breaking if we guys it, it's a really really easy trade this one okay really easy if we go down to this level here if we test the support here okay and break it okay and break it if we go like this and break this 23 60 percent line if we go like this then it's another count okay this is gonna tell us another story this is not gonna be the same this is a different thing this is gonna invalidate this last leg here okay this last leg here is it's something that i'm proposing we have the the we have everything set to for this to happen but if we do if we do 
if this doesn't happen, if we go down, it, it, it would invalidate this. And then we need to break this channel here. We need to break this channel like this and go down. Then we will start wave C. Okay. Uh, one detail that I would like to add to this analysis is the short. And uh, this is the BTC short bit Phoenix. Okay. And what happened between yesterday? This was yesterday. Okay. You see dropping, 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 dropping. This is the shorts. Okay. This is the number of shorts. This is the the graph of shorts happening on Bitfinex. This was dropping since 20, August 22. August the 22, 22 August, <laughs> sorry. Okay, and then yesterday, September the 1st, today in the morning, I think, yes, this was a, a huge, a surging in, in shorting people looking to short Bitcoin, okay? And it's growing. We see a massive, a massive, uh, a, a, a massive candle, right? In it's not pulling back. In, this is in one hour, is, of course, it's gonna show that most of the saints. It's really strange to see this chart in, in a lower time frame, perhaps four hours or yes, four hours or daily. But nevertheless, for hours it's fine, okay? It's, it has been growing, okay? And I'm sorry, let me, yes. And compared to the longs, longs has been declining, yes? What this tells us? This tells us that people are, of course, interested in what? In shorting Bitcoin, okay? That's a really pretty simple answer. But that tells us as well that if the smart, smart money is, is looking at it, that most of the people are looking for shorting rather than longing, what's going to happen, guys? <laughs> I, I, would sh I would go long instead of shorting because you have a lot of people here that's going to be liquidated. Okay? A lot of people that is betting against Bitcoin. So... And we have this thing here that it's significantly, you see, uh, if, if I put it side by side, let me just arrange it. Uh, the 23, where, where the 23, 23 is here, okay. If you, group, if you put it side by side, you see that the level is, is not by far, it's, it's uh, 30, 33, it, it has increased in 10, uh, it was in 21, uh, and it's now in 23 million, right? This is million, this is, no, 23,000 tra 20, 23, shorts. 33,000 shorts, and increasing 10,000 10, in just one day. Okay, and, then, and we are now in uh, 27. This huge spike here, that it, this is significant. This tells me, this gives me confidence that Bitcoin is going to do this, okay? It's going to go up once again. It's going to go up one more leg. Why? Because people is betting against it. Because people is thinking, okay, Bitcoin is done. This is done. This is done. You see that huge week on uh, Bitfinex. Everyone is pointing that Bitcoin is going to go down. And we see a huge, uh, uh, we see this uh, surge in in number of shorts, in, in number of shorts, and the, the longest has been declining, right? People looking for long in Bitcoin. So this tells us two things: that this is possible, of course, because we have data here telling us that this is possible. But it tells us another thing as well: that we might be wrong. Okay. We might be completely wrong that this whole thing can be like uh, this whole thing like here can be the end of the correction. I don't know how, but this might might give a might surprise us. Okay, that this this way five breaks this channel here, and then we would need to reconsider our account. Okay, um, it's like I said. Uh, I don't provide answer. I, I don't provide 
answers most of the time and provide questions and that's how we we improve in our in our ability to analyze charts okay this is data what we do with data we need to to crunch the numbers we need to see what we have and bitcoin is going up by the way <laughs> so um i hope you guys have a awesome shiny sunday and enjoy your families enjoy your uh most of if you are from the us you're gonna enjoy the holiday so <laughs> it's nice and i hope you all have a wonderful weekend a, a wonderful holiday perhaps and see you guys on the next one well tomorrow <laughs> cheers <laughs> if you like of course if you like my content please subscribe and like my video <laughs> and follow us on twitter not us but me but <laughs> And uh, we have my my Discord. We have a Discord group. You have the link in the description. If you want, to, if you want to know more about TA and more uh, about everything that happens around the crypto world, not everything, but you know, <laughs> uh, I would be really happy to see you guys. To see you guys there. Okay. Thank you very much, and I see you guys next one. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs>